this one is for the boys of the boomer system. Talk down AC with the cooler system when we come into the club with me. Hey babe, before we get started, I know it looks like I just came back from the safari, but this is how your boy dresses, okay? This is, uh... It's me, your boy. <laughs> Check it out, I got this chain. My heck, where's my chain? Oh, here's my chain, babe. You got me this chain? It says S. You see that? S for shawty. Cause uh, I know you my shawty and I'm your shawty. What's up? Give me a little thumb. <laughs> okay, let's start. This book, you are a badass. You got me this book, babe. But you know what? I think you are a badass. And you know what that means, babe? I want to read you a few lines. In this book, you are a badass because you are a badass. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Sorry, I'm a little thirsty. Here, let me get some water. Cheers, you want some water? No? Okay, just me. <sighs> ah, like a bass. Okay. How to stop doubting your greatness and start living an awesome life. You deserve it, queen. You're my queen. You deserve it. You deserve to live that badass life. I was gonna say sexy, but it doesn't say sexy on here. It says badass. Babe, I'm just so hyped up. You know, you're my homie. No, you my shawty. If you got me an H chain, you would be my homie, but you my shawty because it's an S. S stands for shawty. Okay. Mm. Babe, you are badass. Don't forget. Oh, I see the word boob. How you got this way? <laughs> There's something wrong with you, and we're going to find that out right now, babe. <laughs> my subconscious made me do it. Typical. You are a victim of the rules you live by. Jenny Holzer. Artist, thinker, blurter of brilliance. Our subconscious mind, on the other hand, is the non analytical <laughs> Sorry, babe, I'm biting my words, but you know what I like? I like to buy a piece of Our subconscious mind, on the other hand, is the non analytical part of our brain that's fully developed the moment we arrive here on Earth. It's all about feelings and instincts and erupting into ear piercing temper tantrums in the middle of supermarkets. Also, where we store all the early outside information we get. Okay, that's really good. Chapter two. The G word. God damn, you know. That's what I say when I see you. If you want to find the secrets of the universe, think in terms of energy, frequency, and vibration. Nikola Tesla, inventor, physicist, super genius. Vibration attracts like vibration. Tap me up, Jody. Chapter 3, present as a pigeon. If you are depressed, you are living in the past. If you are anxious, you are living in the future. If you are at peace, you are living in the present. God damn, that's so good. Lao Tzu, ancient Chinese philosopher, founder of Taoism, could have been one guy or a mythical compilation of many. Nobody really knows for sure. The fact that we aren't stumbling around in an inconsolable state of sobbing awe is appalling. The universe must be like, what more do I have to do to wake up these? Babe. Oh my god, settle down. What more do I have to do to wake these bitches up? Make water their most precious resource rain down from the sky. Amazing. You have to cherish the universe just like I cherish you, babe. Damn it, what's up, what's up, what's up? You are a badass. Chapter 4, the big snooze. Wanting to be someone else is a waste of the person you are. Kurt Cobain, you know this one is right. We are very powerful creatures who create our realities through focused energy. And should our subconscious mind decide to focus that energy at stopping ourselves from taking a risk because it's freaking out and terrified, things can get a little crazy around here. It can get pretty crazy. With that big ass of yours, hey, you have a nice ass. I respect your ass. I respect you. And your ass, okay. Respect, respect her, oh, women. That's me. It's me, your babe. It's me. I respect women. <sniffs> Sorry, I didn't mean to slurp you up like that. Only need a little. Chapter five. Self perception is a zoo. I'm okay. I'm not okay. The title of my friend Cynthia's yet to be written autobiography. It's just as easy to believe we're awesome as it is to believe we're giant sucking things. Part two. How to embrace your inner badass. You smack it a couple times, you know what I'm saying? Chapter 6. Love the one you is. If we really love ourselves, everything in our life works. Louise Hay. Hey. Publisher, the godmother of self-help who was doing it way back when it still wasn't cool. You know what's cool? 
we trust that we live in an abundant universe and allow ourselves to give freely. We raise our frequency, strengthen our faith, and feel awesome, thereby putting ourselves in flow and the position to receive abundant amounts in return. That is some fire stuff, babe. You know what else is fire? You, because you are a badass. Rock and roll, baby, rock and roll. Chapter 14, Gratitude, the gateway drug to awesomeness. When you are grateful, fear disappears and abundance appears. Anthony Robbins, author, speaker, motivator, life changer. You changed my life, babe. When you are consistently in a state of gratitude and aware of all the awesomeness that already exists, it, among many other things, makes it easier for you to believe that there's more awesomeness where that came from and that this yet-to-be-manifested awesomeness is also available to you. You've received awesomeness before, so of course you can receive awesomeness again. This is how gratitude strengthens your faith, and having strong faith is a major key in transforming your life. Chapter 15. Forgive or fester. Forgiveness means giving up all hope for a better past. Lily Tomlin, actress, writer, comedian, absurdist. Go somewhere alone and far away from other people and beat the hell out of a pillow or a mattress or some other soft, inanimate object that won't hurt your fist or punch you back. Scream and yell about what a selfish little pig this other person is and go for it 100% until you're exhausted or someone calls the cops on you. Get it out of your system totally and completely and then let it go. Like Frozen, that was Frozen, like let it go, like Disney. D did you know that maybe Disney wrote Frozen because when people searched up Disney Frozen, they, the, 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 um, the articles that popped up were Walt Disney Frozen, as in Walt Disney's head is frozen. Um, anyway, chapter 16, loosen your bone, Wilma. You don't battle against the current, you battle with it, and if you get good at it, you throw away the oars. Chris Christopherson, singer, songwriter, actor, Rhodes Scholar, still super hot for an old guy. Talk to strangers, we're all family on this planet. Expect and enjoy the unexpected. Find the humor, join the party, live in the moment. Time spent enjoying yourself is never time wasted. Share your space, loosen your bone, Wilma. Part 4, how to get over your BS already. Chapter 17, it's so easy once you figure out it isn't hard. That's what she did. Reality is merely an illusion. Just kidding. I'm I'm a respecter of women, babe. You know how much I respect you. And other women. Not just you. I no, I, I respect you, but like I also respect other women. Um but mainly you, cause 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 you my I'm your shoddy, you my shoddy, you know? <coughs> Reality is merely an illusion, albeit a very persistent one. Albert Einstein, scientist, awesomest. That's pretty clear. What you choose to focus on becomes your reality. I choose to focus on you, babe, and you and my reality, so what's up? What's up with that? <laughs> Sorry. I, I apologize. Chapter 18. Procrastination, Perfection, and a Polished Beer Garden. In order to kick ass, you must first lift up your foot. Jen Sincero, author, coach, self-quoter. Yo, babe, that's the author of this book. That's crazy. Procrastination is one of the most popular forms of self-sabotage because it's really easy. Chapter 19, The Drama of Overwhelm I have lived a long life and had many troubles, most of which never happened. Mark Twain, American author, humorist. Life is but a dream. Don't turn it into a nightmare. Chapter 20, Fear is for suckers. We tiptoe through life hoping to safely make it to death. Unknown. To fear or not to fear? That is the question. Chapter 21. Millions of mirrors. No one can make you feel inferior without your consent. Eleanor Roosevelt, activist, feminist, superhero, longest serving first lady of the United States ever. The people you surround yourself with are excellent mirrors for who you are and how much or how little you love yourself. That's a fun sound. Chapter 22, The Sweet Life. It's great to be here. It's great to be anywhere. Keith Richards, rock god, connoisseur of life. If it's something you want to do, don't wait until you're less busy or richer or ready or 20 pounds lighter. Start right now. You'll never be this young again. Part 5, How to Kick Someone's Ass. How to Kick Some Ass. Chapter 23, The Almighty Decision. Until one is committed, there is hesitancy. The chance 
chance to draw back, always in effectiveness. The moment one definitely commends oneself, then prov providence moves to. W. H. Murray, explorer, mountain climber, committer. So often we pretend we've made a decision when what we've really done is signed up to try until it gets too uncomfortable. Do I make you uncomfortable, babe? Be honest. Do I make you uncomfortable? Chapter 24. Money, your new best friend. I worked for a menial's hire, only to learn dismayed that any wage I ask of life, life would have willingly paid. Anonymous. When you level up your idea of what's possible and decide to really go for it, you open yourself up to the means to accomplish it as well. Chapter 25. Remember to surrender. Surrender to what is. Say yes to life and see how life suddenly starts working for you rather than against you. Eckhart Tolle, author, channeler, highest priest of being present. Your faith in the universe must be stronger than your fear of not getting what you want. Chapter 26. Doing versus spewing. God will not have his work made manifest by cowards. Ralph Waldo Emerson, a fearless writer slash poet, highly skilled spewer and doer. I tried is the poor man's I kicked butt. You have to keep the faith always, even when your ass is on the line. Chapter 27. Beat me up, Scotty. Nothing is impossible. The world itself says I'm possible. Audrey Hepburn. Actress, icon, fabulous. Give yourself the permission and the means. Yes, this includes the money to be who you are, regardless of what anybody else thinks or believes is possible. Do not deny yourself the life you want to live because you're worried you're not good enough, or that you'll be judged, or that it's too risky. Because who does it benefit? No one, that's who. When you live your life doing the things that turn you on, that you're good at, that bring you joy, that make you shove stuff in people's faces and scream, check this out. You walk around so lit that you shoot sunbeams out of your eyeballs. That's pretty lit. You are a badass. Hey, queens. Um, you are a badass. Anyway, babe. Take it easy. Ah, tap me up one more time. Okay. Handshake. Get out there. Stay beautiful. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye, shawty.